Properties of Reflections, Lesson 9.2b. As we learned in the last video, 9.2a, a reflection is a transformation that flips a figure. For a mirror, we have our pre-image, that's our self, and our reflection is the image. We have the pre-image that flips across the line of reflection to make the image. Here we have trapezoid A, B, C, D, and it's in quadrant 2 of the coordinate plane. Remember, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4. It actually makes a C for coordinate, coordinate plane. We trace the trapezoid onto a piece of paper. So I've got my traced one, and we can cut it out and use this trapezoid to investigate the properties of reflections. We flip our cutout trapezoid across this y-axis as the line of reflection, and it ends up over here. So ignore my magnets. I need them <laughs> to get this to stick to the board. So we flip the trapezoid across this y-axis as our line of reflection, and we trace our trapezoid in the new location and label the vertices with prime tick marks. We've traced it, and now we've written A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime with our tick marks. We can take the straight edge side of our protractor and measure the length of the sides for our pre-image. We can measure each one in inches or centimeters, and I find that line segment AB is 3 centimeters, line segment BC is 5 centimeters, line segment CD is 3 centimeters, and line segment DA is 7 centimeters. When I measure the sides of the image with my straight edge part of my protractor or a ruler, I find that line segment A prime B prime is 3 centimeters, just like the pre-image AB. And B prime C prime is 5 centimeters, just like line segment BC. And C prime D prime is 3 centimeters, just like over here. And D prime A prime is 7 centimeters, just like over here. Each side of the image corresponds to a side of the pre-image, and the corresponding sides are the same length. Using a protractor, we measure the angles of the pre-image. We measure A, and we find out that it's 60 degrees. We measure B, and find out it's 120 degrees. C is also 120 degrees. We measure it. And D is 60 degrees. When we measure the angles of A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime, they have the same measures as the corresponding angles of the pre-image. Each angle of the image corresponds to an angle of the pre-image, and the corresponding angles are the same degree measure. Now let's take a look at the sides again. Sides, line segment AD and BC are parallel to each other. See that? They're parallel to each other. And sides A prime D prime and B prime C prime are parallel to each other. The image has the same properties as the pre-image. This shape is the same size as this shape. They are the same shape, and they have different orientations. This one has its narrower segment BC closer to the y-axis, and this one has it closer to the y-axis. We can see it flipped. It's a reflection. Typically, the x-axis and y-axis will be the line of reflection, but any line can be the line of reflection. We have trapezoid PQRS and its reflection P prime, Q prime, R prime, and S prime. If we look at Q, we can count that it's eight units from Q prime. So the line of reflection is going to be two for X. It won't be the y-axis. It's going to be four on this side and four on this side, so it's right down the middle, so it's a perfect reflection. Now look at S prime here. It's four units away from S double prime. So the line of reflection is not the x-axis, it's negative one for y. Here's our y, 
and that's 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So negative 1 on y is going to be the line of reflection for this image and its image. The line of reflection is halfway between the corresponding points. The properties of reflections, the size and shape will be preserved when it reflects, but the orientation will be the mirror image of the original figure. We're finished with part B. We're moving on to the last part, and we're going to be graphing reflections. Have a wonderful day, and meet me at 9.2C. Bye.